I got a story to tell. A yarn about cow country and cow punchers, cattle and men. I was working for the Stroby Ranch, learning my trade. Trade of worn leather saddle blisters and branding irons. Trade with some song, some fun, some blood. It was as good a job as a man could ask for. Lonely sometimes, cold, so much distance you thought you'd never get back. But for me, a young kid, it was a fine time. The memories are mostly good. You're up there on top of the world where the air was clear and thin. The only sound was the wind in the pines. We were in the business of growing beef, always moving the cattle, looking for new feed. They were those new ball-faced Herefords, not like the Longhorns, wild and spooky, but friendly critters, gentle as a dog. Seasons melted away, peaceful, from spring to summer, to fall, and then winter. Cows had to look out for themselves in the snow. The winter drifted. Soon as a man on horseback could get around, they'd go out and locate the cattle, spot them for the spring roundup. They'd come back from the winter drift, cold and worn out. Our foreman was Owen Daybright. He knew what he was doing. We all liked him. And there was his foster brother, Lee Strobe. Their father owned the ranch. The night they got back, the trouble began. Well, look what's turned up. Hiya, Cal. People still drink whiskey? Hiya, Lee. Beat down to my shoes. That's what comes from working for someone you've known too long, Lee. <coughs> See my wife this winter? Jen come in town a couple of times with your old man. How'd Arch look? Oh, just fair, I'd say. Cold weather always seems to bother him. How'd Jen look? Way to find that out is go home and see for yourself. Yeah. Can I borrow your razor, Cal? I don't want to scare her. In the back. Keeping you busy, Doc? The night I've been trying to get him all day for that girl that used to work at the Eaton House. Lily? I wouldn't know her name. What's her trouble, Doc? Oh, small variety. About that big. Arrived a couple hours ago, they tell me. You wouldn't go? That's right. I don't take calls like this until I hear from the father. And that isn't likely. Get down and walk over here so I can see who you are. Get down now. Owen, is that you? Yeah. Put that gun down. It's a friend. Helping. Nobody else would come. So I heard. How's Lee? Want to see you. I'll be home as soon as she's asleep. Who's he? Her brother, Dick Faskin, from out of town. He spent the day looking for the man. Lily, all right? Got company, Lily. Hello, Owen. Lily. Pen's eyes. And beautiful. Good color, too. doctor wouldn't come. Jen came instead. Don't you even think about it, Lily. Not now. I'm really pretty lucky, Owen. I couldn't face up going back to the restaurant to work. Mrs. Burke offered us work out at her place when I'm ready for it. We're grateful, too. It's 
sounds queer to say it here now, but he'll have a good life, Owen. I'm sure he will, Lily. I'm sure he will. Thanks. You've seen me before, Owen. There's been a change. Somebody washed your face and got you a new dress. Arch, in a tub in my own room. I bathe every day now. It's an improvement. How was the winter? Well, we stayed alive and we kept the cattle alive. We were snowed in at the ranch. Didn't see our nearest neighbor in nearly five weeks. We missed you, Owen. I brought Lily some grub. Owen. Who was it? Good night, Jane. You live in these parts? Around here. Who's the father? That'll be Lily's business, wouldn't it? I'll find out. Sure. I'll find out if it takes me a lifetime. Fine. It's a nice country to live in. What was that? 